Fab one, I wanted to show you today the new tank that I got for the snails. Um, this is a large fish tank and I got this uh, about a week or so ago now. Um, and the reason I switched to a tank is because no matter how much I try, I can't make the tub look nice and it's not aesthetically pleasing. Um, I wanted something that would look nicer. Um, so I've gone for a tank. Now, I know obviously some people believe, and I think I've mentioned it before, that obviously there's a worry about snails falling off the roof and banging their shells on the side of the glass tank. But then I realised, it dawned on me um, the other week, that my old snails that I used to do the old videos on, they had a glass tank and they were always in the big glass tank and they were fine. The only reason I stopped using the glass tank was because I broke it. Um, so I thought, well, why not? So what I've done is I've bought this tank um, and it is not far off the size of the, the, t the tub actually. It's a little bit taller um, and then floor space wise, it's about the same. So it's a pretty big tank. And it is, let me think, my, my fish tank is a 65 litre. I think this one's a 75 litre capacity. So it's quite a big tank and it's like, what? I think it's three foot by two foot, something like that in size. Roughly, and it's about two foot high. So, you know, it's quite a big tank. Um, obviously, if they do outgrow it, eventually I will, I can always put them back in the big tub because the tub's got a little bit more space. Um, but this is what I prefer to keep them in now. Um, all I had to do to modify it is I took the light out because there's a light in the top. Um, which I was worried about it getting warm and being too hot for the snails and, cl and them climbing on it. So I took that out and then the only other thing I had to change. There's a flap here to lift up to feed. And I've had to glue it down because um, obviously it was dead dead flimsy and easy to lift off. So I was like, hmm, I'm going to have escapees because I have had snails escape before in an old tank I had. So let me just put this back. Oh man, I'm dropping everything. I also have my little snail on top that I used to have on top of the old tank in my old videos. So this is them. All set up as you can see I've made it Halloweeny so I've got my autumnal themed leaves as well as obviously this one for extra cover and I've got a couple of plastic skulls which have been all thoroughly sanded to make sure there's no sharp seams or rough patches or anything and it's quite funny because this the skulls always start one's there and one's there at the front and during the course of the couple of a couple of days they always end up one of them over there and then one normally ends up in the water dish which is quite funny um and yeah they're all set up they've been in there for ages they're quite happy they're all actually on the roof at the minute because i checked where they were just and the autumn leaves are there my heat mat as you can see is at the back um i don't have to put that on much at the moment um i've put it on a couple of times because it dropped cold a couple of mornings um but they've been all right so far i mean it's like it's 19.7 in there at the minute and i find mine are fine Anywhere from about 19 to 23, they tend to be fine. Normally you keep Acatinas pretty much at room temperature anyway. They're quite good at room temperature. It just tends to be if you've got the marginata ovums that you need like the higher temperature, they tend to have to be kept at about, I think it's 25 to 28 degrees. Um, if I remember right, I, I don't keep those, so I could be wrong, but I know they're warmer, definitely. So this is their tank and Got a big piece of cuttlefish, got a little water dish there, and I've got a water dish there because they tend to choose which one. This one's normally buried in the dirt a little bit and it is plastic. Um, both water dishes are plastic. Um, that's actually a mealworm dish, um, which worked quite well. Um, and I normally have that buried a bit down, but one of the snails has dug under it when they were sleeping last night and moved it. You'll find that the snails will rearrange the tank to their own liking. Um, got more cuttlefish there. I've got to change the cuttlefish soon because it's nearly finished. There's still plenty of like soft cuttlefish on that end though, so it's all right. And then in there, I've got these little leaf dishes. These are new. I don't know if I can get rid of the glare off the. 
that's a little leaf dish that's got cucumber in because it's cucumber it was cucumber this morning um because what i like to do is about once every two weeks i give them a little dish of cucumber just to make sure they've got hydration um and they do enjoy it they haven't eaten it as fast as they normally do but i found if i chop it up into like little cubes it takes them a bit longer um and i've they've had plenty of other veggies as you can see they've just been finishing off some cabbage and stuff and i've got to change it in a bit because um, i'm filming this just before i do a food change and have a bit of a spray around um as you can see by the condensation on the glass it does hold the moisture really well especially because i glued the flappy part of the lid down um and i found the humidity is maintained really well in here i've not had any problems and i've actually found that the heat mats work quite well now i know some people prefer to put the heat mats underneath i personally don't because the tank is in direct contact with the cupboard and if i put the heat mat under there all i'm going to do is cause a fire hazard so i have it on the back and you can have it on the back you don't have to have it underneath and the reason I prefer to have it on the back is because if they get cold, they'll all go, they all go and sit near the heat mat, warm up a bit, and then they move out. Whereas if I heat up all the substrate, it's not going to heat up the inside the air of the tank. But also, um, I don't know. I just, I, I just worry about it getting over, like the mat getting overheated and stuff. It is got, it has got a thermostat. The thermostat is down there. Just tucked it in behind there because I did stick it on. And it kept falling off, so it's there. It's, as you can see it's not on at the minute that's my other little temperature gauge it's fell off and the sticky's gone so i've got to glue that back on um, but i've got these um digital i've got these little digital um heat um temp digital thermometers couldn't talk then um so yeah the digital thermometers are doing the job anyway so that komodo doll one that fell off i will stick it back on but i've got to wait until i've sort it out because i have to dry off the side of the tank remove any slime and then glue it back on i'll show you where everybody is if i can can you see them all there there's three of them uh, there's one in the middle of the back one's in the middle of the lid so theodore's over here then alvin simon theodore and rick are over here in this corner um sometimes they go on the top sometimes they don't um, today for some reason I chose to go on the top normally I'll find them in the plant pots and then that area that's all smushed down at the back there that's where Rick was last night so they do go in different places um, and they seem quite happy um, what I'll do is I'll film some more later on so you can see them out and about uh, which will probably be after I've put some food in um, and today is a snail mix day so that's why I just give them cucumber this morning and then in the evening I give them their snail mix so once I get the snail mix out they'll all come out they always do um, and I'll show you what they uh, I'll show you them after when they're all awake because obviously they are largely well I say largely nocturnal it, it depends Rick comes out random times of the day to eat several times a day whereas everybody else seems to come out in the evening so in the evening I'll film them so keep watching and I'll show you them feeding yeah this is their new tank and got it from where did i get it from i got it from pets at home and that's the side and there's the front and then it's got the plastic lid on the top at the back corner there's like a small space to put cables through uh, which is what i've done for like the ends of the thermostat and everything they go through a little bit here but the, se the section that's cut out at the back of the lid it's only big enough to fit the cables through um and the only time it could be a problem is if we ha if the snails had babies um but to be fair with the cables in there's no there's, there's let me feel the other side yeah it's like i can just about get the very tip of my finger in so I would have to watch if they ever had babies but i don't want them to have any babies so it shouldn't be a problem sorry about the light change my ipad can't decide what to do about the lighting focus focus there you go so yeah that's my snail tank and i've put 
a couple of Halloween stickers. I've got a bat there. There is a bat there, you just can't see it very well. Oh, there's a ghost there, sorry. And there's a pumpkin there, but obviously they're black, they don't show up that well. Um, so yeah, I thought I would show you. And uh, yeah, I'll show you what they look like when they're feeding. Because they're doing quite well actually now. And it's later in the evening. And they're out. I've put down their um, snail mix today, which is why they only had a bit of cucumber this morning. And we've got obviously Rick's there in the middle of the snail mush as always. There's Alvin. Alvin's getting quite big now. There's Simon in the middle. That's Morty, believe it or not. Morty has took over Simon and grown way faster. And there's Theodore. Theodore's getting bigger. So they're doing quite well. Theodore's got a bit of an unusual shaped shell. Um, but it seems all right. He's just a bit weird. He's the unusual one. <laughs> he's growing though. I mean, he's, he's catching up. He used to be way smaller than um, Simon, but he's about the same size as Simon now, so he's not far off. So he's doing all right. And they're all busy having their snail mush. This is another one of those little apple tray, uh, leaf tray things that I managed to get off Amazon. Um, and it's quite shallow and it's also big because the problem I have with the other, like the water tanks, the water uh, trays is, um, I find that they have a hard job getting in and out. Um, but not to the point where they're gonna drown or anything, but like it's just a bit awkward because they're getting bigger. So I've got these flatter trays, which I can put their food in, which just makes it easier for them. So as you can see, they're busy scoffing. And Simon's heading over once he's had some cuttlefish. But yeah, they're all there, getting ready to have some food. So uh, yeah, doing very well so far. And that's what they look like once it's at, once they're out and about. Um, can't really see very well from the outside because of the way I've got the lights on and stuff. But from the inside, there they are. Oops. It's kind of hard to figure out where to put everything. So yeah, that's the note at night. I'll leave them to it now. And the busy scuffy. There they are. It's just frustrating because like I can see them perfectly clearly. But my iPad can't. <laughs> trying to turn my there you go, I've turned my light around a bit. And I've sprayed the tank so obviously it's not clear, but Yep, they're all there. As you can see, they've got plenty of room, plenty of space. And like I said, obviously as they get bigger, I'll put them, I can put some of them back in that tub, um, or I'll get two of these or something. I'll figure it out. So yeah, that's my new tank set up. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.